Welcome back my YouTube family. So, using this image, I'm gonna try to explain what is neo-traditional and how to make your drawing look like neo-traditional. This is a request from Lucas14. I, I hope I said that correctly. So, in this video I'm gonna explain what I consider as neo-traditional, what is my approach, how I make it look neo-traditional, and why did I pick neo-traditional. So first, because it says neo traditional, it means it's traditional. So if you look on this image, it would be realism. Because it's a photo, but if that would be drawn on a paper, that would be realism, photo realism or hyper realism, as many people call it. But because we're gonna do it neo traditional, so what we're gonna do first is let's write down first. As it says traditional, which means it's gonna be bold. So you wouldn't do every single smallest line here, but you would take the main line, so the hat line, the eyes, the eyebrows, you can use some of the wrinkles down here, you, you simplify the hair, you don't do all these one million strokes, you do them differently, you do, you use the outside lines of whatever you see. And because it says nail, traditional, it stands for modern. Yeah. So the second would be multiple line sizes, which means you use bold lines, but then you can use the smallest ones. You can add really fine line here. You can add some maybe two or three more strokes, like using the eyebrows. You can you can pick the detail. You can make this a little bit shiny and little wrinkles maybe on the lips you use the shadows as the lines as well so when it comes to traditional they mostly have one or two line sizes big bold black lines but when it comes to modern traditional or neo traditional you can use as many as you want but most of the people stick to like two or three or four so you, you basically see big lines and you can see the small lines it, it's not like five or three even they look exactly the same almost but you can see that's bold and that's thin so yeah so next thing what is in traditional art you have a, a selected color so back in the day they didn't have that many colors as we have today and actually they did have but they never used it it was all about efficiency so if somebody came in and they wanted like a little tiny ship they would just do a big bold outline with black and they would take like red whatever color and just block it out and just see job done next one's in so they didn't even consider as a blending as a multiple or mix the colors nothing they were just like if you ask for red it's gonna be red if you wanna i don't know black panther it's gonna be just solid black all the way through job done so when it comes to neo traditional these people start to mix colors they wondered like what else we can go how far we can push so in neo traditional and that'll be the third option there's multiple colors but that said then again what mostly people do is they add three colors yeah so if you go for like red i don't know green and i don't know let's say blue so what people do is they go with different shades of red, different shades of green and different shades of blue. So when it's like 50 shades of grey, you just have 50 shades of red, green, blue or whatever colours you pick. So you don't make the whole thing as a rainbow because you can use multiple colours, but you can use multiple tones of the same colour, if that makes sense. So in any drawing, whatever you do in future or whatever, Try to stick to three or mostly maybe max four colors in in your drawing and just multiple tones of that. So if you add like a green leaf, you can make the red ends and then you shade down into a bit of like orange-ish. But that's again, that's like red warm tone. So try stick to like two or three tones of, 
yeah, one color. So good example. Oh, yeah, my, your eyes mo mostly gonna see the red and the blue snake wrapping through the yellow and uh, the yellow here, orange and the brown. That kind of mixes together, so it kind of is the same tone, but it's different tones. And uh, your eyes don't see the black because your eyes are concentrated on the on the here. So what you see mostly is brownish, yellowish, uh, red and blue. So that's how you need to do like future. Same again here, you got blue, you got yellow, and you got a little bit brown here. All these red accents and stuff like that, that's just a little pinpoint, but the main drawing is done with like three colors only, different shades, lighter blue, darker blue, or greenish blue, but it's still based on blue. Same it goes with the yellow here, you got yellow and dark yellow, which goes into orange, same here, same there. Here again, you got red as the leaves, you got bone color, and uh, blue. The pink, that becomes more like a background. You don't really focus on that. Different tones here, but again, you don't really look there. But the main image is done with three colors, different shades, as you see from dark into light. And uh, I, I think that's the best one. It becomes readable. It's that easy to understand what that is, what it does. But if you got extremely a lot of colors, a lot that's going on, your eyes, your eyes don't see what's happening, it starts to second guessing and if somebody else is looking at your work and they are second guessing, they're not gonna like it because it doesn't say like, oh amazing, it just says, what is that? And that's what you don't want people to think when they look in your eye, they wanna say, oh that's amazing, I can see what that is, I can see that from miles away and that's what you need to focus for. And before I go, so you can see a big lines, see what we wrote here. So bold clean lines, we got bold clean lines, multiple line sizes. So you can see I did all the outsides with bigger lines than the insides and that's some, that's literally my thing. I like to do big bold outside when it says clean and that's the end of the snake. And then all the insides you do with multiple line sizes, it could be, I don't know, from like 0 0.05 to 0 0.7. As long as you've got different line sizes and the whole thing doesn't look like one size lines. And creating this way, when you've got bold outsides and smaller line insides, it gives the clean look and it gives some kind of, not 3D effect, but it gives some depth. So you can see the foreground, you can see the background. So, yeah. And that's the fourth, I would say, I would write down freedom why because you can draw whatever you want how you want as long as it's readable as is as long as you can understand what that is the drawing can make no sense you can draw like whatever you want wherever you want upside down twisted you can cut this face on half you can split this way you can draw mushrooms on her head you can draw i don't know holding a moon in her hand it could make no sense at all but as long as you understand what that is what that's supposed to be what purpose was what story you want to tell or whatever as long as you understand what the image is, on the first glance you look at it, that's it. Happy. That's now traditional. It, it needs to make sense. You need to understand. That, that's where most of the beginners lie. That's where they fall because they, how to say, sometimes people get carried away and they draw loads of details, the same line sizes, the same... It just there's so much going on you need to four times look at it to understand what that is what that's supposed to be and stuff like that and I would say freedom is one of the reasons I picked neo traditional as a as a maybe career or as a focus because I can draw whatever I want to be honest when I first started tattooing and I draw and stuff like that so I first focused on realism I was obsessed with realism I wanted to do realism all day every day but then I realized I got no freedom if the face is supposed to look like this I have to draw exactly as that I can't change the eye size I can't change the eyebrows I can't change anything it has to look like that because that is photorealism but when it came to neo traditional it gave me freedom and I think that was the thing what I was looking for 
so I can, I don't know, cut down the arm. And talking about freedom, here's my little sketch what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna add a snake to her. And this is what I mean, I can add whatever I want, how I want. So the plan is, I'm gonna start about here, get the snake, wrapping around her, goes about here, wraps around there, comes back and her face is on her cheeks. The only thing I need to figure out is how to finish this area because the, the image can't be just cut off. He has to finish somehow. So down here, uh, the arm will disappear and the snake will get the end. So start from the hand, uh, snake. That's where it, the hand comes out. The hand goes there. The snake wraps around. So that gives a clean edge, a clean finish. I need to figure out what I should do here. Maybe I'm gonna just add her hair, what cuts down the image. But that's the plan for today. So we're gonna start with a sketch. I'm gonna plan out what exactly I want to do with it. Then the first bold lines, clean lines. Then I can add multiple line sizes. So all these little hair, I can add like this one. You can see the gray here and the gray there. I can use those, but not more than that. So just keep simple, clean, but you can see that's a hair, yeah? And freedom. I don't know about color. I don't I don't think I, in this video I'm gonna get to the color, but we got freedom. Like we can do whatever we want with this one. I'm probably gonna change the makeup on her face. I don't know, probably gonna put my symbol on her forehead, maybe on the eyes. Uh, probably gonna have some black, dark uh, makeup on her face. Probably gonna tattoos on the hands like we can do whatever we want on this one as long as this looks like a girl And the snake is wrapping around her. That's all we need So when when a random person comes to this image and they they just see like oh, what's that? And they see the snake they see the face they see the girl they see the hat They see the hand and there's no questions asked That's exactly what we need So if you need to listen again, whatever I just said you just Put a to uh, watch the video again, write down on your sketchbook or whatever, put on the information down, what I mentioned and what tips I gave. And again, this was a request from Lucas14. If you got any requests or any questions or any concerns or whatever you got, just drop in a comment and I'll make a video for you, mate. And then you can say everybody that one guy from YouTube, a YouTuber made a video for you and you can show off to everybody. <laughs> so let's crack on. some kind of base idea how it should look like and what it's supposed to be where what flows and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little small details to it maybe snake scales or maybe more hair or maybe more defined the whole thing but that's literally the first stage I get from from this image I get basically the outline the main 
lines, the main characters, the main thing. And now, now we're gonna do a little tiny little details. Maybe we can add some tattoos in there, define all these lines. What I just sketched here. So yeah, that that's literally the next part is to maybe make it a bit more define what's supposed to be where. Washed up, don't want to believe it. Don't want to believe it Tough love You take it or leave it Washed up Don't want to believe it So this is the point where I kind of go with it. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna do probably like a, a demonish half face. So half is the good one, half is the demon one. So I'm probably gonna do a red eye or something. All this is gonna be quite dark, uh, dark horn, same with a snake. So with the snake, I decided to do one black line in the middle of the snake. So it's kind of easier for your eyes to pick where the snake actually flows. It's, it's just one of those eye tricks I use. Same here, it's just that easier for you to understand where it wraps, where it goes, what's the flop of the snake. And uh, so what I mostly start to do is I go with the easy lines first. So basically like hands, stuff like that, where I don't need to wander too much. I just go with it. And as I move forward, then I get into like harder areas and stuff like that, but then, then I'm, I'm kind of used to and I just make up as I go so I just do easy ones first hard ones after bold lines multiple line sizes I'll go with 0 0.8 probably outside and then 0 0.1 in, in the middle and smaller lines somewhere maybe in the face and stuff like that so, so it's easier for your eyes to see there is actually multiple line sizes if, if you do one size all the way through it just looks flat there's no definition if you do this snake bold, yeah, a bold outside, and then you do with the small lines in here, you can see the snake is on top of the hat. It gives that definition, it gives that, uh, outside, I don't know, I forgot. Anyway, let's, let's go, Let, let's start planning. I'm, I'm, I'm really up for it. Let's do some line work. to believe it tough love you take it or leave it washed up don't want to believe it tough love you take it or leave it washed up
take it or leave it Washed up Don't want to believe it Tough love You take it or leave it Washed up don't want to believe it Tough love You take it or leave it Washed up Don't want to believe it Tough love You take it or leave it I did the, all the scales already, I wasn't sure you wanna look at how I make 1 million scales, so did them already, job done. So this is how you get the traditional look. So in this video I took a face and a snake, so you can make whatever you wanna. You can have a deer, you can have animals, birds, flowers, whatever. If you add all this to whatever subject matter, that's about it, it's gonna look now traditional. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. For this video, probably we don't, we're not gonna do any shading, any color, because I think that's another video's time. Because this kind of video is gonna be dead long already. So I'll probably gonna have another video explaining a bit more about colors, maybe, and uh, that kind of approach. So remember this one, yeah, bold clean lines, multiple line sizes, as you see, I did 0.8, there's 0 0.2, 0 0.05, so multiple line sizes, damn, that fall. So for the colors and all that, that's next time, and the freedom means you can do whatever you want, as long as it looks good. When you look at it, you can see it's a girl, you can see the hand, you can see the snake, no second guessing you can see this is like her devil side or something like that no 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 second guessing so for those who have made this far in the video i congratulate you love art and you're a good artist because most people probably wouldn't watch you they would skip it to next video or whatever so like subscribe give me some youtube money yeah youtube money is a like i give you tips you give me likes yeah i help you you help me yeah that's done deal okay bye no, I'm joking. No, bye. So, if you get any more suggestions or more questions, as this one was request, maybe you have something in your mind where you are wondering or you have no answers, you can't find the answers anywhere or not online. Because when I was in your place, I was looking for those answers. I couldn't find anyone telling. Old people just drew whatever, but they didn't put that in words like why, what's the reason, what's the purpose, blah blah blah. So if you get any suggestions or any questions or any, or maybe you're sick and tired to see you know, traditional, maybe you want a different style. So I don't know, whatever, just ask. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to read all the comments myself. So right guys, let's, let's edit the video and upload for you guys to watch it. Bye and take care. And don't forget about this one. Yeah. Subscribe for more awesome tips.